going on, guys? It's Johnny from NYDiesels.com. You know, we're just hanging out today. It was a lazy day, and I figured, what the heck? I'm going to give you guys a video that maybe you can make some use out of, you know? My whole life, I love the Globetrotter tricks, and I'm a huge basketball guy. Basketball has been there for me. Nothing else was, you know? But I always wanted to learn how to do the tricks, okay? I watch the Globetrotters all the time. And last summer, I got the opportunity to meet Special K from the Globetrotters, and I asked him, I said, Special K, how do you spin the ball on your finger? You know what I mean? That was a trick that I could never get. I never knew how to do it, you know? And it's pretty simple. The key is the spin. Now, once it spins, your finger is just like the pivot point, you know? It's just like, it'll just sit there. Now, before you even try to put it on your finger, okay? Get the spin right, okay? What you're going to want to do is get the lines on the basketball up and down. By the way, it looks really cool if you have a globe trotter's ball. But you know what? Any basketball will work. Go find one in the ditch if you have to. So, ball straight up and down. Take your hands and you're going to bring it back. Then you're going to spin it. And you want that ball to spin around, okay? Now, when you're first starting to put it on your finger, you don't have to spin it 100 miles an hour, okay? You can spin it slow and then catch it. You don't need to, you know, really whip it. Because if you try, there's two things that people are going to fail at. Not spinning it right and trying to spin it too fast, okay? You can spin it on any finger. I have five fingers. Some people have four fingers. It doesn't matter how many fingers you have. You can spin it on any finger you want, okay? I'm going to use my index finger this time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take it. We're going to spin it. The key is let your finger stay tough. Don't let it be wimpy and come down. That's when you're going to lose it, okay? If, you're, if your finger's not tough, turn your finger upside down and try catching it like this. So it would look like this, okay? You know, then, then you can kind of spin it low. Now, if you're tough, spin it like this. That's how you should spin the ball. Now, on segment number two, I'm going to teach you guys all kinds of tricks. I got about 15 globe trotter tricks that I've learned. And, um, you know, maybe we'll even show you some cool dunks, okay? On the next segment, I'm going to show you how to spin it with your other hand. I'm going to show you how to get it from popping up in the air back down on your finger. I'm going to show you how to get it all the way around to the other hand. I think that's a really cool one. But none of that can be done unless you can do the first part. Question is, can you do the first part? I want to see how many of you guys can do the first part. Because it's not easy, you know. It's not easy spinning the ball. We're going to do one little trick here. Okay, we're going to pop it up and then bring it back down. Okay, you guys saw that? Alright guys, I'm having too much fun here. I'm going to go spin this ball some more. Hey, let's go buy some diesel trucks. Alright, thanks for coming by NYDiesel.com.